sold the house, bought a boat, refitted the boat, ready to go sailing. To recap, our engine dies at 3 a.m. We tend to sail during the day, motor at night. We were towed into the closest marina. They worked on the engine, got it running, we left. It died 15 minutes later, had to be towed back to the same marina. Well, I'm not sure if we'll ever get out of here. We're kind of the boomerang couple. I know. We just keep coming back <laughs> over and over and over again. We'll get there. We'll get out of here, hopefully soon. This, this is your roving Isabella reporter leaving again. Engines burned like a kitten. Good to be out of the Ponce Shallow Shoal Inlet. It's nice to be out in the open sea. And that inlet, not only is it shallow and lots of shoals, it's extremely narrow. I agree. And lots of traffic. Yeah, it took us an hour and a half to get out, and the weather is marginal, but we want to head south. Really? It is so great to have the engine fixed, and you know what? It sounds better than it ever has. Yeah, the uh, engine, it was a combination of things. We had to have the fuel polished, the tank clean, um, our duplex Raycor fuel filters needed rebuilding, and our fuel lift pump needed to be replaced, and of course get the air out of the line. So, all of that, it's now working. I know, and our routing service said today's weather was marginal for us to go, but tomorrow it's even worse, and we just had to get out of there. And plus, we're paying over a hundred a day for a transient fee while they work on the engine. to motor to get to our next marina, our next port, before they closed. And three hours out, and I don't want to tell you how many thousands of dollars later, the engine stopped. And again. I, again. <laughs> and I am really trying not to cry. I can't blame you. I feel like crying too. We spent all kinds of money uh, on this engine. Of course, you know, we are sailing, and uh, the noise you hear is our noisy autopilot. <laughs> and so, but, you know, without an engine, you know, I can't sail in and dock, really, so we're going to have to get towed. 
we're trying to get close enough to a marina that has some uh, Cummings diesel expertise where we can get this engine fixed. It should run for five days straight or something, you know. And we've run it for, you know, 20 hours before the time when we needed to. Uh, so that's our sad tale, and we'll see. Silver lining is we are sailing, like you said, Steve, and the weather's not too bad. So I'm pissed. I mean, we spent like 2,500 bucks on fuel polishing, uh, fuel lift pump, uh, uh, rebuilding the duplex raycores, uh, mechanics times trying to figure this out. I couldn't figure it out. Um, and the engine lasts three hours. We're out in the Atlantic. We've raised the main and the mizzen cell. Um, we are moving. Very slowly. Here's our messy cockpit. Still under full sail. I think Karen's the best part of the cockpit. Thank you. Sail's still looking good. I love that new main. It's rocking and rolling out there. Got my safety line. We dropped the sails just in time for the towboat to show up. Home sweet home, at least for a little while. 